And joining us today on our Book Talk segment, great to welcome a man who's written a, another novel in his Troy Pierce series. This one is called Blue Warrior, a military a thriller novel. And we're joined today by the author, Mike Madden, on the telephone. And Mike, uh, good to talk to you. How are you today? Doing great, Doug. How about you? I'm doing well. You're not related to Joe Madden, are you? <laughs> Our former manager? <laughs> John or Steve Madden, either, no. <laughs> I know you spell a little bit differently, but anyway. But uh, this is this, uh, I don't know what number of the Troy Pierce novels this is, but it's another in the series, so uh, that character's been pretty good to you, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, Troy's a good friend of mine. Uh, I, he's a guy I always wanted to be, I guess. I guess that's why you get to write novels. <laughs> How much of, uh, I guess I guess everybody kind of puts part of themselves in, in any main character, but, uh, but you've studied uh, uh, political uh, analysis, and, and you do political analysis, I should say, and, and politics, and military and all that, so it comes out of your background, doesn't it? Absolutely, and um, well, all of my novels are they're, they're military techno thrillers, so I've got you know drones front and center, and all the action you expect from you know a good kind of Tom Clancy style novel. They're also those set in a political context. You know, drones in and of themselves, as fascinating as they are, to me aren't nearly as interesting as the people who operate them. And so, you know, it, good guys and bad guys, you know, both have drones, and so that to me is where all the stories really are born. Yeah, it seems like uh, up until about maybe three or four years ago, we never even heard the word drone used for a weapon, used more for a bee. But uh, I guess that, that, is the, that is the weapon uh, that we all hear about now being used. And it is kind of fascinating to, uh, to see how they work. I know they can be operated remotely from thousands of miles away, right? Thousands of miles away, technically millions of miles away. Um, you know, really uh, any satellite that's launched into uh, outer space, the um, Curiosity uh, rover that's running around the surface of Mars is technically a drone. Mm -hmm. That crazy little uh, vacuum cleaner, the Roomba, you know, bouncing around, you know, sucking oh, sure. up stale Cheerios off your carpet. That's a drone. <laughs> uh, drones are uh, now uh, nanomachines. They've got, you know, drones that are smaller than the uh, width of a human hair. Uh, University of Texas just pioneered a new system. Uh, it basically boils down to a drone motor. Uh, they can spin uh, this... Uh, um, this magnetic ro this rod at 16,000 revolutions per minute to wow. allow them to literally place medicine inside of a particular place inside of a cell. So, and they're controlling those remotely as well. So uh, they come in all shapes and sizes. They're changing the military landscape. They're changing the, the medical landscape. They're changing uh, you know, uh, commerce as well. Mm, fascinating. And your character, uh, Troy Pierce, in the book, uh uh, deals with he's a he's a, uh, a military veteran. He's also a CEO of a security firm, and he specializes in in the drone weapons. So he kind of gets involved in this story. This takes place uh, in Africa mainly, doesn't it? Uh, the second one, yeah, it's kind of it's, it's Lawrence of Arabia, but with drones. Um, <laughs> I set him uh, in the middle of the Sahara Desert uh, in part because uh, uh, he does definitely have some drone technology, and, and, he, and he uses it when he can. But I also wanted to see him, you know. At, falling back on some of his, his just his human resources, you know, his guts and his tenacity. The other thing I wanted to do was compare him. He's this modern American drone warrior. Uh, he's there to defend some uh, old friends, but also some new ones in, in the person of the Tauric people. These are this magnificent ancient warrior culture. Um, these are the guys in the backs of camels, you know, flashing their swords. They've been battling uh, invaders in this era from the Roman Legion to modern times the French Foreign Legion, and they usually win. But um, right now they're battling the uh, army at Mali and also some Chinese special op forces who have their own drones. And so uh, Troy has to help them out. And a former, you have a character in there who's a former uh, president of the United States, and, and it's a woman. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's uh, Margaret Myers. I'm telling you, she's uh, rapidly becoming probably uh, the most popular character in my series. <laughs> um, everyone loves her, uh, men and women, because um, this is a president who puts her country first and um, her political career second. And unfortunately, um, most of us view politics and politicians the way Troy does. We see that most politicians are self-interested and will say anything uh, to stay in power. And so, you know, again, this whole idea of we don't trust drones, we don't trust surveillance. Uh, no, what that really means is we don't trust the government. And, and I'm afraid we have, you know, sometimes good reasons not to. Yeah, we're going to find out uh, as we talk today in less than a week uh, <laughs> of the current people in office how much they're trusted or not, whether they get voted out or not. But uh, you're right, it's uh, a low opinion of most of most politicians right now, unfortunately. And, and, and by the way, we may not know about next week. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, but today again, 
there's a scandal unfolding in Illinois. Um, mm -hmm. Robotic voting machines, right? These voting machines are electronic and the remote and the software. People are going in and voting for Republicans and changing all their votes to Democrats. In fact, there's a video of it today you know, documenting this. We all know so, about uh, voting uh, problems down here in Florida, Mike. <laughs> we remember well. <laughs> this is what's really so frustrating, honestly, because it's getting to the point now where we don't trust the basic function of government. Yeah. And, and democracy does not work if, if there isn't trust. If we lose trust that my vote doesn't even count, then you've lost democracy, and I'm afraid that we're getting closer and closer to that. It's very, very, very concerning. Yeah. Well, the story, uh, when you write a, a plot line like this, you, you base it obviously on a lot of things that are going on. Of course, you add, uh, uh, you know, your own story or narrative to it and some fiction to it. But uh, I guess you kind of have to kind of keep up to date on what's going on in the world to kind of make it uh, more real, right, uh, the political end. Well, yeah, I mean, I said all of the drone systems I feature are absolutely real. They're either maybe drawing boards or maybe they are uh, uh, patents have been filed or their actual systems are actually out there. So my conceit is that everything about the drones is absolutely real. I fictionalize like the use of them sometimes, so they might be a little bit easier to use uh, in one case than another. But, but for the most part, it's, they're absolutely real. Uh, the characters are fictionalized. But yeah, I try to keep the politics as real as possible too. And so my bad guys, you know, really are bad guys that, um, and they're usually composites of people that you know either have been or are on the scene. And it's unfortunate that you know in some ways uh, you can't make up some of this stuff. Um, and I, <laughs> I think I can. I'll give you an example. In the current book, of Blue Warrior, I have, um, I teach a lot of the NSA kind of stuff, you know, the, the, the Snowden leaks and all of that have right. really shown stuff. Um, but I have a character that plants uh, false data uh, on computers of people that are political enemies. Well, Cheryl Atkinson, the former CBS anchor or, or a reporter, who just came out yesterday. Sure. A quasi government agency plants classified documents on her computer to blackmail her to keep her from reporting negatively about the administration. Yeah. I mean, fiction, what's fact anymore? That's that's the challenge for a fiction writer. Yeah, I saw that story, and she actually used to work down here uh, on local news before she went to the network. So, uh, great, good reporter, but uh, yeah, I know a uh, scary situation when you when you hear that kind of stuff. Yeah, and that's and again, that's the issue. We talk about security versus privacy. That debate, it's not about security versus privacy, it's about trust. You know, we don't trust the government to not use our private information against us. I mean, the, the IRS scandal with Lois Lerner is an example of that. Mm. But it's not limited to one party. I mean, all governments at all times have used information in some form to, you know, to keep themselves in power. I mean, the whole point of the CIA and, and uh, um, is, for, is to go out and get information about, you know, our enemies, right, and, and spy on them so we can do something. But the, the tools that the government agencies have to break into computers over there can be used to break into computers over here. And when the bad guys are over here, you've got to break into those computers. Yeah. Now it just gets very problematic. Whole, whole new type of warfare, not just the drones, like you said, but uh, the computer uh, and Internet technology breaking in and all that kind of stuff. So it's added a whole new, uh, new element of, uh, of warfare, hasn't it? Yeah, the, because when we think of drones, it's, it's really the surveillance technologies uh, that are affiliated with them are the real concern. I mean, with a drone, it, it's an airplane like you can buy down at the hobby store, right? It's a, it's a radio-controlled airplane. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. The question is, is, what are they doing? And they're usually carrying these amazing surveillance packages, which, by the way, are being used right now to hunt down a cop-killing fugitive, you know, in the Northeast. I mean, um, it, it's, uh, these technologies are very powerful for stopping crime, for fighting criminals, for fighting terrorists. Again, if the right people have them, you know, these technologies are enormously beneficial. But when the bad guys get them, by the way, Hamas, Hezbollah, and now ISIS also have drone technology. And when the bad guys have them, now, you know, that's where the concerns kick in. Yeah. Well, I know we have limited time today, but uh, Blue Warrior is the name of the book, a Troy Pierce novel. We've been talking with Mike Madden. And uh, Mike, can you give out a website and we'll get a hold of you in the book? Yeah, and I and also uh, I link to, uh, uh, with uh, Facebook and Twitter. I love talking to my uh, my readers and my fans. But you go to MikeMadden.com. That's Madden like the coach or the shoes, um, <laughs> but only with one D. And all the links to Amazon and Kobo and independent bookstores are all there. Uh, Ebook, audiobook, hardcover, anything you want, uh, you can find it all there. Or just go to your favorite you know, local book outlet, and, and they'll have it too. Great, Mike. Pleasure to talk to you. Hopefully, we can do it again. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much.